Good? Okay. Um, okay, well thank you all for, uh, for joining us today. Um, it feels like just yesterday, but also like a very, very long time ago that I was standing here for our first ever red, uh, Rally for Rescues 2021. Um, so thank you for being here today. It has been another incredible year. Um, we have had a growing community. We've brought on new fosters, new volunteers. We now have a dedicated and committed advisory board, and I think a few of them are here, um, maybe, so thank you. We have um, 460 families have adopted a Paws and Claws kitty, or two, or three if they were extra crazy. And best of all, we have saved 800 animals in just two and a half years. Well, yeah. yeah. And get this, this one's my favorite. We are on track to hit 1,000 lives saved before we hit our third anniversary. Yeah. Um, I'm so incredibly proud to be watching my organization that started as a small nonprofit, start up in 2020, continue to grow and become an established, sustainable, community-based rescue that is doing so much good. Most of all, I am grateful for each and every one of you for being here for today and contributing and supporting us in whatever way you did this past year. Since our founding in 2020, we have been completely foster-based. All of our animals have been in foster homes, we haven't had a facility, and we've relied on our vet clinics, storage units, and this porch more than anything else to meet all of our needs. And it's worked. It's worked really, really well, but it's also limited our growth in many, many ways. We began what if conversations last year as we had a team meeting and discussed our one year and five year goals. What if we had a space? What if we had in-house medical care? What if I finally had an office? What if we had meet and greet rooms? What if we had a place for adoptable cats? What if we had a community hub for our fosters, volunteers, and supporters to gather, a place to provide resources to the community? What if Paws and Claws truly had a home? Those what ifs turned into real conversations, into us looking at spaces in the spring and summer, or in the winter and spring. We viewed a lot of potential properties, but one stuck out. That space is 829 Chicago Avenue, also known in Evanston, also known as the future Paws and Claws Cat Adoption Center. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, it's very exciting. Um, this space will make what all of our what ifs possible. We'll have space for, we'll have a surgery suite. Uh, we'll have space for treatment areas to isolate sick cats. Those in quarantine will have meeting rooms, offices. It's, it's going to be wonderful. This isn't just a huge win for Paws and Claws though. This is a huge win for Evanston, the Chicagoland area, the shelters we work with from Southern Illinois to Indiana to Michigan, all the way to our partners in Louisiana and Alabama. We'll be able to triple our life saving in the building and do so in a more efficient way that benefits the animals and the people that love them. This is a huge win for what we anticipate to be thousands of animals that will walk through our doors. This next chapter is incredibly exciting, but also terrifying. We need to raise a huge amount of money to make it a reality. There will be construction costs, building preparation and moving costs. And there will be ongoing costs, rent, real estate taxes, utilities, maintenance. This adoption center is the heart of Paws and Claws in our next chapter. And I hope you'll consider helping us in any way you can. You are the best champions we have. Uh, you're able to tell our story effectively. So we hope you'll help us whether or not you're in a position to give uh, or not. Maybe you have friends or family that don't know about us or aren't familiar with our cause and would be willing to support us. Um, and that's where peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers come in. Many community members giving small amounts is what has gotten us to where we are today. Eric, who, <laughs> Eric, who is at our Paws and Claws Cat Adoption Center table, um, can help you set up a peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser. It's low barrier, it's easy to do, um, we'll, we'll help you do it. And um, as we've kind of continued to grow, we, as many of you know, we've become more and more cat focused. Um, so we wanted a brand that would reflect that. Um, this adoption center will focus only on our feline friends, so we thought it was just right to, to kind of rebrand. Um, so, and Eric's going to hold it up. We, oh, you got it. Okay. Um, we have a new logo. Woohoo! Um, it is two cats instead of a cat and a dog. So, um, 
this um, crew neck. If you set up a peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser today, you will get a free crew neck. It's super exciting. It is our first piece of merch with the new logo, so um, why not do it? The center is for our community, but only will be made possible by our community, so I hope you'll consider supporting us. Like, Let's make it a reality. Thank you.